Oh fuck, I'm a struggling producer. How do I make beats like Lil Uzivert and Migos? What would you say if I told you that I created a formula for how artists like Post Malone, Lil Uzivert, and Migos created number one hit songs and that you could replicate this formula again and again? You'd probably think I'm full of shit and you'd probably think this is a Ty Lopez video. Well, it's not. I get a shit ton of comments every day from you guys on how I create beats, so this is for you. This will give you a basic understanding for how popular hip hop artists create their beats. If you're somebody who aspires to be a dope producer and wants to make sick ass beats with ease, then this isn't a video that you should just skip over. In this video, I'm gonna show you the formula that artists like Post Malone and Lil Uzi Vert use to create number one songs and how you can replicate this. But make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video because I have something very special for you guys that are trying to up your production game. I won't say too much about it right now, just wait till the end. So let's first talk about some misconceptions that people have about producing music. People think that you either got it or you don't. People think that you gotta have the best software the most expensive and new plugins and the best music equipment to make number one hits. They feel like money is holding them back. They feel like time is holding them back. But in reality, everything I just said is not a valid excuse. It's all fucking bullshit. But Wolfie, I'm using Audacity or some other fucking weird ass music software. It doesn't matter. All softwares have the same basic functionalities. You can make a dope beat using free software, stock plugins and shit, and even your fucking iPhone's microphone. And I will be doing a video on that very soon. People use these excuses as a way to cop out, as a way to quit because they think it's too hard. If you are this person, then I'm gonna give you a huge wake up call. Making sick beats is something that anyone can do on any software using any equipment. Holy shit! Now, I'm not gonna lie, obviously having better equipment and better plugins is really gonna help you out, but it shouldn't be something that holds you back. Like, when I first started out, I was using a shitty software and stock plugins for months before I was able to upgrade my equipment. That's actually a better way to learn, so you figure out the basics before you move on to the more advanced stuff. It honestly saddens me when people think that they can't become a good producer because whatever they think is holding them back. Because you're basically giving up on something that you could have been really good at if only you had the right information. I'm not saying making fire beats is easy, I'm saying it's doable. When I started this YouTube channel, I started to notice a pattern in all these songs that I was covering. You know, I was making songs two, three times a week. Almost all the songs had a lot of commonalities. And these similarities between songs aren't on accident. Like, this is a structure that the biggest producers like Metro Boomin and Murda Beats use to replicate and create hit songs time and time again. And it's a lot simpler than you think. I've broken down this concept into what I call the hip hop skeleton. This is the hip hop skeleton. Just kidding, but the hip hop skeleton that I'm talking about is that every single hip hop song nowadays has these common elements. Hi-hat, snare, kick, sub bass, and a melody. Put those five elements together and you have your hip hop skeleton. And every song is just adjusting one or more of these layers. Maybe making a faster hi-hat pattern, maybe adding some more kicks, maybe the bass pattern's different, maybe you use a different melody. When you put the hip hop skeleton into practice, what it does is it creates like a foundation or a skeleton of a song, which then allows you to be more creative. Rather than trying to figure out how to piece together a song and figuring out what goes where, you're now just focused on the creative elements of it, such as how the melody sounds or when you're gonna have a hi-hat, when you're gonna have the kicks, since you already know what you need to have. Think about it, name any hip hop song that's on the top 40 right now. Post Malone's Rockstar. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rush. Has the hip hop skeleton. Kendrick Lamar, humble. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime alone. Hip hop skeleton. Lil Uzi Vert, Exo Tour Life. I don't really care if you. You guessed it. Hip hop fucking skeleton. All the songs that I just listed became number one fucking hits using this simple format that even the most beginner producers could replicate. I don't know why there's no one else online telling you how actually simple and doable it is to make sick beats, but I don't give a shit. I feel like if you're someone who is passionate about music and I know something that you don't know that could really help you out, that I should share it with you. So now that you know the hip hop skeleton, applying it to your tracks is as easy as opening up a new blank project, put a hi-hat on a track, put a snare on a track. Same thing with the kick, 
the sub bass, and any other instruments you want to use for the melodies. And boom, you have your skeleton, and now you can get started creating your work of art. Again, I'm not saying that making beats is easy, I'm saying that it doesn't have to be that fucking complicated. So now you know how to have your hip hop skeleton, but you might not know how to go about creating the hi hat patterns, what kind of melody to make, what synths to use. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, I have an announcement right now that could really help you out with that. I want to tell you about something that will take what you learned in this video and teach you how to actually create it. And that is Music X. Music X is a private music community that I've created for aspiring producers to get feedback on their beats, collaborate with other artists, and talk directly to me about producing. I made a whole video explaining exactly what Music X is, so if you want to know more about it, click the first link in the description. I would only promote something if I believed in it with all my heart. And since I'm going to be running this program and talking directly to you, that's why I'm promoting this. I'm putting my everything into this, devoting my time to you in order to make you a sick fucking producer. I want to help you become the producer that you have the potential to be. So click the first link in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.